All right, what is up, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Crystal Randomized. I see that a lot of you aren't actually subscribed, so uh, if you are on this channel and you're not subscribed, please subscribe, like, comment, uh, please do something. You know, I mean, it helps the channel out, and you guys will be notified on the videos. And by all means, you could always unsubscribe later if you want. You don't have to stay subscribed, but subscribing now does actually help the channel, and it does help me and does help the, everyone else that I collaborate with on this channel. So by all means, please subscribe. But with that, guys, we're going back at it again with this Pokemon Crystal Randomized run. Uh, today is actually a weird day. I am recording this the day of, and I don't typically do that. The main reason for that is because I uh, was pretty busy this weekend and uh, decided that, yeah, you know, maybe I should just record the day of. And yeah, I'm not doing this ever again. I had to wake up early. I'm not a, I'm not, I don't like waking up early and stuff. So anyway, let's get into it. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, it, it is very early morning. I don't really record this early in the morning. Oh, okay, okay. I see what I'm supposed to do. I need to go fight a Bugsy. So uh, we have Pug, Spinner. All right, I gotta level up Pug because Pug, Pug has our lightning uh, moves on him. I'm gonna level him up a bit. All right, so we immediately get in here. We immediately have to fight because there's no way of getting around these two. So what do they have? They should have like some level nines, maybe. So like, I always thought that this was going to be a double battle, and this probably should be a double battle in the new like Heart Gold Soul Silver. But I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm gonna switch Pug out for. Uh, I think Spinner is. No, Spinner is not the oh, one. Beyblade is uh, my Fortress. Because uh, Fortress has Sacred Fire. It's made a Whirlwind. What? Oh, you don't have Sacred Fire. Ah, oh, Toad has Sacred Fire. Uh, well, you have Icy Wind. Works just as well. If you hit. If you hit. Alright, well, he hit us with that. That's not very effective. Your arrow blast could work as well. Extreme speed. Alright, cool. Eakins is, uh, is a fun one. Alright. Okay, I thought that was going to deal a lot more damage than I thought it was. So we'll just arrow blast it, since arrow blast should be super effective. No, it wasn't super effective, but it, it did the job. It did what I needed it to do. So Tentacool. Tentacool. I will switch back to Pug, and I think Pug will actually take out Tentacool because I have Thunder Shock, which is super effective. Since he's a Water Poison, or not, I have Thunderbolt. <laughs> he uses String Shot? Alright, whatever. I'm gonna Thunderbolt his ass. It should. Oh, wow. I thought that would have dealt a lot more damage. Well, I'm not an electric type Pokemon, so I don't have the same type attack bonus, but Thunderbolt is a pretty good move. 95 power. I am only level 9 now. And I don't think uh, my Pokemon, I don't think Snubble has a very high like attack or a special. I don't think I don't think he's good at that. Snubble definitely is not a competitive Pokemon, in my opinion. I don't even think back in the day when this Pokemon was like the new competitive scene that Snubble was even anywhere close to being the actual competitive. But we got Snubble to level 10. We got our Pug to level 10. I'm gonna try to face everyone that I can in here just so I can get them leveled up. I know in uh, the Pokemon Blue randomized run, the moment we got to Elite Four, the Elite Four were easy. Like they were so, like we just steamrolled through them. Wow, he's a Macargo. Wow, Macargo was second gen? I thought he was third gen. Oh my god. Alright, Pokemon. Uh, anyone have water type moves? I don't think anyone has a water type move. Uh, but we all will get a water type move once we get to Morty. Once we get to Irukteal Town. Uh, so I guess I'll bring out Babel. Oh no, this is, darn, this is a bad, well, 
They have four random moves. The likelihood of him having a fire move is not all too likely. So I'm going to arrow blast and try to see if this just kills him outright. I doubt it, but it might. All right, well, that was a bad, that, that bad choice on my part. Um, so what do you have for moves? It's been a, it's been a hot minute since I played this, so. Uh, dig, vice grip. Ah, uh, no. Well, you have vice grip. And you have sword dance. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna sword dance, and then I'm going to, uh, most likely but Ooh. Wait. The speed bell is attack went up, defense went up. Alright, well I have the sword dance. You're gonna barrage me, alright, so you're gonna deal two damage each. Cool. Not bad, not bad. I I I'm enjoying this. Um dig. So I am playing this on my new PC. Well, not my new PC. I am trying a new setup uh, for how I'm going to be streaming and recording from now on. So I am playing this on through like a remote desktop connection on my old PC from my new PC. So uh, let me know if there's any audio issues. Uh, I know I'll be like listening to it in playback, but other than that, I tried doing like a couple different tests here and there, and everything went a little bit fine. The only thing is, is that I'm probably like maybe like a millisecond or so like ha ha like half a second behind on the voice other than that it's not too bad giraffe rig yeah i'll switch out I'll switch so pug comes out gotta do my switch training here gotta do my switch training uh yeah uh i'm not gonna be able to beat the level 12. um uh, giraffe rig is a dark normal type i think i'm gonna bring toad back out uh to use sacred fire what is what is that oh you're about to use hyper beam that's not cool so since i switched out my attack reverted itself back to normal that's the any status changes other than uh like actual status effects are nullified once you switch so since i switched out my attack return reverted back to normal on toad but i don't really mind wow pug has some really bad stats there i know whenever i do my legendary runs like by this point i am already like at around 100 hp uh, which is really good because by this point, like, I I shouldn't die at all. I don't want to be hit at all. So that's that's really good. Sent out to start you. Go pug. Uh, you are a couple levels ahead of me. However, I do have thunderbolt. Ooh, that is super effective. Uh, let's switch out Pokemon. Uh, let's bring out... Uh, let's bring out Toad. I mean, why not? Toad, Toad is my MVP. You also know Ice Beam. I need to go pick, pick up a star you. Ice Beam is super good. I'm gonna vice grip it. So I definitely so Star is definitely on my list of Pokemon I need to go pick up. I try to I'm gonna try to catch a majority of Pokemon, so I have a lot more choice when it comes to the Pokemon Stadium Two runs. Uh, so I'm gonna try to catch a lot more Pokemon uh, for 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 that. And hopefully, you know, when it when it comes to me playing that again, we definitely can steamroll through it as well. It's got a lot more because you have the you have the gym leader castle, which is the eight gems here, the elite four. Then you have the additional other four battles that you have to do, and with that, 
then you go into uh, other things. I have to fix a sleep setting to set it to never. On my new PC, apparently I never did that. So, sorry about that. Um, Natu is technically a flying Pokemon, so Thunderbolt should... Uh, Thunderbolt should take it out. And it did, okay, cool. Good, good, good. Alright, Sunflora. I am switch training still, so I will bring out... I'll have him bring out Sunflora, and then I will switch to Toad. And then, yeah, hopefully you guys can hear my cat meowing in the background, because that's exactly what she's doing. She came in here, and now she's just meowing. Oh, you know Thunder. That's not cool. I'm going to take her fire. Hopefully that will get rid of it. I'm going to have to heal before I go up against Bugsy. Okay, 139, Toad grew to level 20. Good, good. About to catch Eakins. Will I switch? Yeah, of course I'll switch. I'll switch back to Pug since I'm switch training. You know, he went from level 9, now he's level 12. You know, that's fantastic. And he's like almost there to the next level. And I'll bring out Toad again. Because, you know, Toad has Sacred Fire, which is super effective against Eakins right now. You use Leech Life? Alright. Does like almost nothing. You use Sacred Fire. We take you out. Alright, cool. And, yep, now we have to go heal up. Or, I think there may be one more uh, trainer in here. Is there another trainer? No. All right, we're going to go heal up before we take on Bozy. You can really tell that it's early morning in the game. Like, because we're in the morning phase of the game. We're not even in the afternoon phase, which is typically when I record. I typically record this anywhere from, like, 11 a.m. to, like, 3 in the afternoon. But since, uh... Some other games were having some events going on. I was playing those games this weekend and didn't have time to record. Uh, yeah, I basically over overdosed on the other games this weekend. And yeah, that was fun. So, you know, got to record this the day of. Uh, so we're taking on Bugsy now. He never loses. He's the bug type gym leader. Uh, but since this is randomized, he's most likely not going to have bug type Pokemon. I mean, come on. He has three Pokemon. Typically it was like Kakuna, Metapod, and a Scyther. And now he has a Pupitar. Which is scary that he has a Pupitar. I, I don't like this. Um, it's a Pupitar. Uh, I don't know what Pupitar is weak against. So I'm going to send a Beyblade at him. Okay, he has Tail Whip. Uh, I'm gonna Icy Wind him. I think that might be effective. I don't like that he's faster than me. Like, what is this? How is he faster? Well, Icy Wind is super effective, so I'm gonna keep using it. His speed went down, so I now go first. Uh, his speed fell again. He's still just tail whipping me. Why you... is that all he knows is tail whip? No, he knows Blizzard. Oh my god, okay. So if I catch a Pupitar in the wild, I will know Blizzard and Tail Whip. Uh, Blizzard is a pretty good move. It's 120 power, but 70% accurate, and it's the best ice move in the game. So Pug's now level 13, so he has 26 attack. That's not bad, but his special attack is kind of lacking. He can't, he can't learn anything. I'm sorry, Pug, but you can't learn rap. Although rap is a shitty move anyway, so why would you want to learn it? You're trying to learn haze. Okay, well, you're not a frat boy, so you're not going to learn haze. 
And by the rules anyway, you can't learn haze. I forgot what you were bringing out, but I'm still switch training Pug, so, you know. Bring out Pug. Oh, you're bringing out Jokey Buff. Okay. So you have Pupitar. Now you have a normal type. Uh, I'm going to switch to Spinner, since he actually has a super effective move against you. However, he must go second, so you probably put him to sleep or something. So I'm going to use Vital Throw. You know, Metal Claw. Okay, a Steel-type move against a Fighting-type. And your attack went up. Wow. Okay. I was about to say, I was like, let's hope Vital Throw just takes you out in one hit. <clears throat> but it did, so that's good. Ladybug? Alright, that, that is a bug type Pokemon. I will give him that. I think it's a flying bug. Uh, but it is a bug type Pokemon. It's level 16? His Scyther is a level 16? I guess I almost like never really noticed that because by the time I get to this, like my legendary Pokemon's usually in the 20s or something. So I almost never care. Hidden power. Okay. Four damage. I'm a Sacred Fire are you. Okay, there we go. Not bad. 91 XP. And with that, we beat Bugsy. Alright, and we still have enough time that we can actually go fight a rival. So let's go uh, fight a rival after we uh, get this badge and heal up. Do you know of the benefits of the Hive badge? So I like that, like... Like, in these older games, they were supposed to program in that if your own Pokemon got to a certain level, that they would no, no longer obey you. It wasn't that case. It was only ever traded Pokemon, and I think due to that bug in the game, that became a staple feature. That, you know, you couldn't have traded Pokemon obey you if you didn't have the, the, the corresponding badges. Now, that's not bad. Like, although that is a good thing to have as a feature rather than, you know, any Pokemon that's not within your level range will obey you. So, you know, it works out. My Pokemon are fully healed. You hope to see me again. Yay! Alright, let's go take on our trainer. Or, or, or our rival. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You have beat them? Ha! Quit lying. You're not joking. Then let's see how good you are. Alright, Jake sent out Gramble. Wow, you have the evolution to my Snubble. Look, Snubble, that's what you're going to turn into. I'm going to switch Pokemon to Spinner since Gramble in this generation is normal type. In future generations, well, post Gen 5, maybe Gen 6, uh, he'll be a fairy type Pokemon. Which, if you just look at Gramble, you just look at that purple mess, and you think to yourself, that is a fairy type. That is that is absolutely a fairy. Yep. Yep. J just, just think that in your head. Like, that is absolutely a fairy type Pokemon. So, oh, Pug's now level 14. That's good. Ooh, special attack went up. All right. Spinner goes up as well. Uh, you're about to bring out Chikorita. Well, we're going to switch you back to Pug since we're still switch training him. I don't know when he will evolve. So, that is something. Uh, you have nothing good against Chikorita. Uh... I like that he has Chikorita now. So my rebel has ran the Pokemon. I don't know what he had off the top of my head in the first fight, but now he has Chikorita. Which at this point may actually be a uh, like Bayleaf. Uh, I miss Sacred Fire, wow. Oh, well no, no shit, you're using uh, Sand Attack on me to reduce my accuracy. I mean, Sacred Fire is a 95% accurate move, but if you use Sand Attack on me twice, like... Alright, cool, yeah, my my attack power, my ability to hit you goes down way, way, way fast. 
You're gonna bring out Natsu? Oh, Natsu is the small one. Zatsu is the evolution. I'm gonna try to take this down with just Pug. Can you use Fury Cutter? Alright, so if he keeps using Fury Cutter, it'll be a bad thing, but the first one typically doesn't hurt. No, you, you switch up to Vice Grip. All right, cool. So you're not using Fury Cutter anymore to power it up. You know, the AI is kind of stupid here. We took down not two on our own. And we leveled up Pug. And Jake was defeated. All right. And with that, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Again, a lot of you aren't subscribed to me already that watch my channel so if you are if you aren't subscribed please subscribe it definitely helps the channel it helps everyone that i collaborate with out and it'll help me keep making more content for you guys and you know possibly even better content than what i already make so again with that guys please like comment and subscribe and i hope you guys have a fantastic day thank you very much <music>